and comedies of the 1930s, Spanky appeared in blackface. Buckley, did you say Spanky was in a lot of trouble? Yes, sir. The gag here is that the gang doesn't realize that that's Spanky in blackface until they actually see Buckwheat. Hiya, Buckwheat. Hiya, Buckwheat. So the gist of it is that you put blackface makeup on anyone and they become black. And that's supposed to be hilarious. And it's supposed to be really funny. When he grows up... And it goes on. During the golden age of the Hollywood musical, Judy Garland. When he walks down the street, folks will say, please to meet Mr. Franklin D. Roosevelt Jones. Bing Crosby. That's why we celebrate this blessed February day. Abraham. Fred Astaire and many others, all blacked up. It's still in the culture. It is too easy, I think, simply to dismiss the history of blackface as that racist stuff. And we're, you know, most of us are better than that. I don't think most of us are better than that. We are that. That's what we are. You know, some people say in order to move forward, we need to put this stuff behind us, as painful, as just upsetting that it may be. Well, you know, any form of history that gets suppressed or repressed or you know, erased out, it comes back to haunt. What has to happen now is a discussion, an acknowledgement of this charged, complicated, painful history.